Hi, I'm Ken Mingus from Computer World. I'm the managing editor for news here, and I'm a longtime Mac fan. What I have in front of me is a box from Apple Computer. Apple earlier this week, on October 14th, unveiled a new line of MacBooks and 15 inch MacBook Pros with what Apple calls a new unibody, which is part of a new manufacturing process that the company uses to carve the basic chassis for the new laptop out of a solid block of aluminum. We're going to open one of these up because, as you may or may not know, in the uh, Mac world, it's a big deal when Apple comes out with a new design. And a lot of Mac fans are very excited about their new laptops when they get them. So we thought we'd give you a sense for what it's like to open up one of these things. In fact, interestingly enough, Apple's very big on the fact that it uses sort of eco-friendly ways of packaging its laptops, which you can see. This is a very small box with the laptop very nicely packed inside. This particular model is the uh, top of the line MacBook. Uh, there are three MacBooks. One of them is a 999 entry level model. It's basically the old laptop, the old white plastic laptop MacBook that's been updated. And then there are the two new MacBooks which are a little lighter and they're made out of aluminum much like the MacBook Pro one. Uh, this particular MacBook is the 1599 model. It's uh, the top of the line MacBook, and uh, it features a 2.4 gigahertz processor, and of course, as we said, that new um, the design that uh, involves carving the laptop chassis out of a solid block of aluminum. So, this is our first look at it. I haven't seen one of these. In fact, until yesterday, no one had really seen them unless you were at the unveiling in uh, California on the 14th. Uh, like all of the Apple laptops, this one is very nicely packaged in plastic because, of course, we don't want any scratches or stuffs or fingerprints or anything else to mar the look of our new laptop. The keyboard was white or black, depending on the laptop. This one here has the aluminum shell, the chassis, that is indeed carved out of one block. I was speaking to some Apple officials earlier today, and they point that even around the edge, they feel that it uh, provides a better contrast for the images on the screen and better color saturation. Let me tilt this just a little bit this way. Some other differences, um, you can't really see it here, but the trackpad doesn't have a, a, a button anymore. And in fact, this entire trackpad surface is covered with glass. Um, you can't see it, of course, because it's clear, and what you see below is uh, the metal from the, uh, the trackpad underneath it. I'm going to uh, turn this around for a second and just show you the back of this while I get this particular uh, MacBook. With a glass surface which you can't see, um, you can feel a difference though. This is, feels like a little bit of a drag on your finger when you're you know, moving your finger across the aluminum surfaces, which is what the old trackpad is like. The new trackpad is extremely, it, it feels like glass. It feels like running your finger down the glass here. Uh, and actually this trackpad clicks and moves. I don't know whether you can see that or not in the video, but uh, the bottom part of it here, where the button normally would be, clicks and moves. Uh, and that's basically because there are now new finger features. Um, as Apple has had for the last couple of years, or at least for the last year or so, there are these multi-touch gestures that you can use on the, uh, the glass top trackpad here. The little video here that's in the uh, control panel of the system preference um, shows you how each finger movement um, affects the, uh, the, the program that you're working on or the window that you're in. That's one of the new things that they've added. Also, uh, just glancing at the other uh, system preference here, I noticed that the Energy Saber um, control panel has a uh, fluorescent light bulb rather than the old incandescent light bulb. Um, and Apple's very proud about the fact that uh, this computer is more echo-friendly in the sense that uh, it also has an LED screen. and. Uh, uh, the nice thing about the LED screen is that if you do any work outdoors at all, it's much brighter, um, saves a little bit of energy, which means you're going to get better uh, um, battery power, battery length um, out of the laptop, and that uh, is uh, you know, more environmentally friendly and cleaner. Um, I've had, this is very similar to the, uh, the LED screen that's in the MacBook Air that I've had, and there is a noticeable difference, especially when working in a bright light or outside. Um, I should also notice that even though in this bright light you can't see it, Apple has actually introduced, um, for the first time to the MacBook line, a, uh, the, the lighted keyboard, so that in dim light, the keyboard lights up and you can actually see the keys, you can see you know, what's on the keys, uh, even if it's dark. And that's something that uh, 
users had requested the, had asked Apple to move from the, the MacBook Pro line down to the MacBook line, and that's something they've done in the 1599 model. Uh, one other point, you may not be able to see it very easily, but there's an eyesight camera sort of um, tucked in behind the, 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 the black part of the bezel here right at the top, and obviously that's what you use for webcams and uh, um, for video chats. Um, that's part of basically Apple's entire uh, laptop lineup has the eyesight built in now. And I'm pretty sure this would be the microphone right here, unless it's the sensor for the light. Nope, must be the microphone. And that's about it for our first start here. Let me uh, point out what's in the rest of the box, because obviously you get the laptop, but there's more here. Again, Apple's done a very good job of packaging this. There's foam up here to keep everything nice and tight in place. You've got uh, sort of the two-part cable, power cable, which Apple's used for a while, along with the uh, the MagSafe connector. You know, this has been great because I've got uh, memory, and you can even uh, replace the hard drive. Uh, this is a feature that's it's actually better used in the MacBook than it is in the MacBook Pro, which is a, a bear to get into. Um, the rest of the uh, contents include a screen. Uh, look, Brand new, redesigned MacBook made out of one piece of aluminum. It's probably going to be a pretty good seller for Apple, even uh, despite the economic downturn that we're suffering right now. They've moved a lot of features from the upper line down to the, the consumer line, and I, I think it's going to be very popular. Thanks a lot.